Hey guys, welcome back to another Pimax VR Sim Racing Guide, and today I'll be showing you all of my settings to get Automobile Easter 2 looking good with a smooth frame rate using the Pimax Crystal Light headset. So first for my PC specs, I've got an RTX 4090 GPU paired with an Intel i9-1400K as well as 64GB of RAM. Now with these settings I'm about to show you, I'm getting a steady 90fps pretty much all of the time, with some occasional drops down to 80fps in certain scenarios like during the race starts or in the rain. So first our Pimax Play app settings and in the device section we've got the refresh rate set to 90Hz. Now I tried the 90Hz upscale mode and I really didn't like it, mainly because although the performance becomes much better, the objects in the distance become incredibly blurry, especially the curbs and signs, and this gave me a lot of discomfort while driving. Now onto the game section and we've got the FOV set to normal, image quality medium, GPU upscaling is set to off or none, sharpness is the default value of 0.6, now we've got both the quad views and Pimax central priority rendering set to quality and just touching on this quickly, I did try to use the high quality preset for the headset along with the quality foveated rendering options but the frame rate was just really unstable which made me uncomfortable whilst driving. Then I lowered the foveated rendering settings to balanced and although the frame rate became more stable, having these foveated options set to balanced made the image too blurry in the distance for me which again made it hard to drive for prolonged amounts of time. Now the reason for this is because when you're driving in these racing simulators, you're pretty much always fixing your gaze into the distance and the road ahead, and that pixelation or blurriness in the distance can become really distracting. So in my opinion, it's better to have the headset quality set to medium, and then the foveated rendering settings set to quality. Now in the Automobile Easter 2 settings and in the visual effects menu, we've got post-processing filters turned on, bloom on, exposure compensation is 1.0, vignette is off, cockpit mirrors on, Heat haze on, crepuscular rays is set to yes. Now for the exterior and interior sun flare options, as I've mentioned in my previous AMS2 graphics guide, we don't actually see this effect through the human eye unless we have some kind of fluid in them like tears or something. And this is usually an effect that you'd see through the lens of a camera. They also bring a heavy performance hit, so because of that we've got them both set to none. Now raindrops are set to yes and screen dirt is set to no, because again, this is an effect that would be seen through a camera lens in most situations, and it can save us some performance having it turned off. Now in the graphics and performance section, for resolution, this actually sets the resolution for the game's display on your PC monitor and not the headset. Now unless you need that monitor to be recording some footage for some content like I have in this video, you won't actually be looking at this display most of the time. So you're better off just having this set to a very low resolution like 1280 by 720 because this will also save us some performance. Now texture resolution is set to high, texture filtering is anisotropic 8x, vertical sync no, render frames ahead 4, multi-sample anti-aliasing or MSAA is set to off, post-processing anti-alias is SMAA high, super sampling anti-aliasing off, shadow detail high, track and vehicle reflections are both set to ultra, and vehicle detail is ultra. Now for maximum visible vehicles, this is a great way of saving performance because it'll stop rendering any cars over a certain amount, and it always prioritizes the cars that are closest to you. So for example, if I set mine to 20, the game will only render the 20 closest vehicles to my car. You do need to be careful with this though, because setting this too low can cause cars in front of you to disappear at the worst possible time, like when you're caught in a big group of cars, especially during the race starts. This can often lead to collisions or accidents because there's a chance that you'll lose vision of a car that's potentially in front of you. So my advice here is not to go below 15 cars if you decide to use this option. Now enhanced mirrors are turned on, motion blur is off, pit crew detail is set to all but you can also set this to just player so that you can only see your pit crew when you make a pit stop and this can also save us some performance. Track detail is set to ultra, trackside collisions on, Grass and particle detail are set to high, then particle density is ultra and LOD fades off. Then finally in the virtual reality section we've got gaze control off, recenter view on boot on, recenter view at race start always, camera near clip plane is 0.1, and finally with super sampling anti-aliasing I found 1.4 to be really good, but if you need a bit more performance you can decrease this value, just remember that it'll introduce some blurriness into the image so do some testing to find the sweet spot for you. And that's all of my settings for the Pimax Crystal Light on Automobile Easter 2 guys. Now if you found this guide helpful or if you've got any questions about what I cover here today, then just leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. But thanks as always for watching, I'll see you in the next one.